Look at all these nail polish that I have, but they are over three, four, five years old. Do they even work? Can I still use them and without harming my fingers? Let's find out together. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome back to Star Girl Beauty Channel 2019. If you are the first time here, thank you so much for tuning in. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment my video. Also, follow me on Twitter. Thank you very much. Today I want to talk about nail polish. So look at this nail polish. I went inside my drawers. I have three drawers that's full of nail polish. So I pick up the bottom drawer, which contains my least favorite nail polish but I want to check them out because they are so old there are most of them are over three four maybe even five years old I don't even know they even work so look at all these nail polish I have them for so long some of them are over three four five years old even I don't even know if they work I'm I am not going to go through every bottle with it because I know that's a lot and it will take very long time but let's just pick out a couple what color do you like do you like yellow okay let's pick out a yellow how about purple let's pick a purple and there is a blue here too and oh there are some mini oh there is some shimmering one i'm just going to pick a few and see if they even worse some of them are here they some of them just doesn't look good this is a true blue whoa look at that uh neon yellow uh let's see there is a red all right let's just do uh those few let's put the bucket down so let's just look at a few bottles and see if they even work. Now, I already put on my new nail, so I'm not going to put on my nail, but I have a piece of tape here. So let's find out first one. Uh, this is a wet and wild. I used to love this bottle. And wait until you see the brush. The brush is wide enough. Basically, one stroke, you're done. So I love this, their nail polish because I put them upright, so they kind of like already condense the bottom. Let's see this one. It's kind of like a mauve purple color. It's actually pretty good color. Let's see. Oh, this one still looks good. They are not drying out. So let me put on and see the color on my... Basically, I'm swatching this for you now. So, so as you can see, the swatch here, the color stays true and the texture is still very good. Doesn't dry out at all and doesn't get thick at all. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last. The shade is called Bite the Bullet. So in terms of long lasting, pass! Ding! So this is Wet n Wild. It passed. So I put it on the side and this one is again another Wet n Wild. Oh, this is a Fergie. Um, collection. Remember there was a while ago, two, three years ago, uh, by the way, that one that I have was over three years old. This one also at least three years old. Uh, they were, the Fergie collection comes to Walgreen. There were a lot of makeup and stuff coming up and I went ahead and bought this limited edition. Look at the color. It has a lot of shimmering in there, kind of like red, purple and have some gold sh uh, shimmer in there. Looking very nice. Same kind of brush that I like. One stroke you can done with your nail. Oh wow, look at this color. It's deeper color, like burgundy purple. It has shimmering on, look at that. Now, although this color is a little bit patchy, you probably need two layers if you were, you were to use it. And this one, color is good and the texture is still good. Doesn't dry out at all. So once again, wet and wild furky collection. What is the shade of this one? Can I see, can, does it have it here? No, it doesn't say the shade. Anyway, I'll, I'm going to try to find it and then I'm putting it down in the description box for you but it doesn't matter because this is a limited edition. I'm, I'm, I am pretty sure it's, you can't find it anywhere anyway, but just so you know. So Wet n Wild, another one, winner! The third one is LA Colors. So look at this bottle, it's so cute. It's a square bottle, it's small, but the cap is matching the nail polish color itself. So it's pretty cool. LA Colors, this is called Color Last. It says it will last up to 10 days, but first let me check because this one is also pretty old, three, four years, same as the other Wet n Wild that I just showed you. They are really pretty old. I just stored them in the drawer and then I totally forgot about them. So it's at least three to five years old. And let's see this one. Wow, look at that look at the color now granted this one is very thin texture the texture is very thin but look at the color I love this color true lavender purple color uh, but uh, you probably need to do a couple layers if you were to do it to make it look like that otherwise it will be pretty um, not opaque enough but I would say this one also it's 
good to go, I will use it. I'm not going to toss it out. So that's number three. Pass the time test. So far, these three. Two wet and wild, one from LA Colors. This one is from, oh, Sephora by OPI. Do you know, if you look at the bottle and it's the Sephora by OPI, you know they're not even selling this online now. I don't believe so. So you know how old this one is. I don't think this one is probably old for five years old, but this is bright yellow. I don't even know why I bought this. I think I was looking for gold at that time. And I just thought, oh, okay, let's try. Let me do a swatch for you first. True yellow, gold, yellow, gold color. Again, I don't like the texture as much. It's not as opaque as the first one. And while that I swatch, look at how thin they are. You're going to do one layer, dry out, second layer, and etc. etc. But looks like it is still good. It's not drying out. There is no separation on the bottle either. So I would say this one also passed, but it's just that by it, nature itself, the formula is not as thick and not as opaque. But that's why they're like kind of runny. All right. So the next one is Sally Hansen. If you go to the, your drugstore, you know Sally Hansen is a huge brand for nail polish. They have like any colors that you can dream of. So I went to the bottom of my drawer and picked up these my least favorite bottles. So these are my least favorite. But I don't know why the purple ones in there. I love purple. But yellow, yeah, I probably don't use that much. Let me do a swatch for this one. This one is very cute. It's, I think it's like a collection that comes out like all these powdery uh, pastel color, pastel yellow. This is a sugar coat. But where is the sugar coat? I don't see anything. Do I have a name on these? Uh, I don't even see a name on this color. Oh, it's called Sweetie. Number 400 Sweetie. It's like a, see, pastel yellow color, like Easter color. Oh, we love Easter. That's the yellow. But I think it's pretty opaque. You don't, it's not as runny as the LA color and the Sephora. Not as runny. Pretty good. I can still use it. So again, remember these nail polish are three to five years old. But so far, so good. I think they're still good. None of them has any separation or drying out. Next, this one is again by um, Sally Hansen. It is the Complete Salon Manicure, manicure Formula. But look at the bottle. It's a little bit different from the other one, right? That one square, this one, it's like that. So this one, it looks very runny to me. Um, it just has some shimmering stuff in there. It didn't dry. Uh, oh, I love these kind of brushes, see? So this one obviously is for you to put on top of whatever nail polish you're using because they have those speckles in there. It's like layer. I don't know if you can see it. The bottom one that has some shimmer layers on there. So that's it. Once again, this one looks pretty good. Let me, actually this one I can use. Let me put one on my finger right now because I have red on the bottom. And let's just put some shimmer on top. Just one of my layers. One on top, one layers on top. Can you see those little speckles? It's beautiful. Wow, it's great. So this one, again, passed a long-lasting test. Even after three to five years old, this still works. All right. Next one. Mm, this one doesn't look good. Look, this is a China Glaze brand. Look, there is the separation already, and I think the pigment is already like all go back to the bottom. But this one, I probably need to shake, shake, shake. You know. Good before I can use it. This is so bright yellow, but after I shake it, it looks okay. So let's see now. I can open the bottle. Bright yellow. Yeah, so the texture is just way too runny, but the color it's pretty. It has a very great sheen on top. Uh, I don't know about that one. Let's put it on the left side. All right, next is also China Glaze. As you can see now, is China Glaze, they usually do separate. This is a blue, and I probably also need to shake it really, really well before I can see the blue. Let the pigment coming back up. So from now on, I will store them like maybe in flat motion, and then so they're not sinking down. This is a blue. Wow, I love this blue, blue color. Beautiful. Very pretty. Wow, can you see the swatch? That's the blue the right here. Again, very beautiful. But I generally speaking do not like the texture of them. They're just way, very uh, not opaque and very runny. Look at it's like like that. But anyway, okay, it's not my favorite. 
But anyway, I think it still works. I think I can still use it. It was not drying out or getting thick or anything. So this last one is from Ice, you know, like the selling jewelry store Ice. Wow, wow. Look at those shimmer. It's purple, blue. It reminds me of the galaxy. So pretty. I honestly need to start using this nail polish now. Look at that last swatch. It's the blue one. Can you see? So that's all the swatches that I show you today. All these that I tested them out. So I would say they all passed the time test. Even though after three to five years, they still work. They didn't dry out. They still maintain their true color and their texture. And I will try to use them and give you update maybe in a couple weeks or whatsoever and you should be start seeing these colors on my nail in my future videos that's that's those right so i also want to just mention to you guys that in case your nail polish just get really too old and then they get uh thickened it's not totally dry out but it gets really thick if you uh, experience that try getting something called nail polish thinner and then you do a couple drops in there and then they will re revive your nail polish if it is not too bad. If it is savable, you can save them. But obviously, you can't keep them for too long because I have two bottles. This one is already dried out. Uh, obviously, they may have contain they may contain alcohol and then they just dry out. So this bottle, I have to toss it. No good, but this one's still good. I will save it in case I find some bad one and I will thin it out and then I will use it. All right, so that's the nail polish that passed the test today and I like them and I think I'll use them. This one, not so good, China Glaze. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also, go take out your nail polish and let me know, share with me what happens to your nail polish that are older in your drawers. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to be the star of the show. Thank you.